how you doing guys girls people all right how you doing this is the wired idiot and a little video today about this setup that you're listening to right now and what I use this for is things like uh, zoom and making quick videos TikTok, Instagram YouTube I get a decent quality sound um, it's not overly hard to set up so what I'm gonna do if you like the way this sounds right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through what I have going on to make that and all I'm doing is I'm playing an acoustic guitar and I'm talking and singing okay so if that's something that you could benefit from here's how I do it all right so here we are um, I'm using an acoustic guitar and I'm not plugging it in okay so it's a la carte and I'm using a MXL condenser microphone uh, it's not overly expensive it is a decent microphone although it is made in China it has very good ratings and I picked it up a few years ago for about $250 I'm not sure I think they're a little more now but it is a good quality microphone so basically for the video clip that you heard and for what I use for things like Zoom or uh, TikTok videos, I just use this condenser mic and it picks up both my voice and it picks up the guitar. So all I really have is one connection. So I have a, a standard mic uh, cable that goes into channel one on my mixer. Now. I have this, they're called different things on mixers that it's a button that eliminates the lowest uh, 100 hertz, or sometimes 50 hertz of the signal, gets rid of the, the kind of the mess at the bottom end. I have that engaged. As you can see, my gain is cranked. Um, if I was playing live, I would probably up be around up around midnight. Um, what I find with recording video and also streaming, I just find it really eats a lot of gain. So I have my settings for my vocals. That's just my personal settings. I have a touch of reverb and it's a plate kind of reverb, they call it. Okay. And then I have my fader at zero or unity as it were. So that's the only connection I have. And then on this mixer, of course, I have a USB out that's plugged in and activated by the necessary buttons. Every mixer is different as to what you do to activate your USB channel. But what that does is that sound sends my mix. In this case, the mix is only one. There's no guitar. Uh, it's all coming through the same. It sends it out to my recording device. So I have a USB 2 cable that runs along through the spaghetti wiring of the floor and into my iPhone for which you will need an adapter. So these are actually called, these are called a camera kit by Apple. Okay. So the USB cable from my mixer plugs into the bottom of that. The other one, you don't have to buy this one, but I bought one that also allows me to run power into my iPhone or iPad, so I don't have to worry about power. Now, it's not plugged into the bottom of the iPhone because I'm recording on it right now, but you would just simply slide that into your, uh, whatever they call it, uh, Thunderbolt jack or port or whatever, okay? And you bring up your camera and you hit record. It's really that simple. Okay, so I have plugged... Uh, the camera in. So in other words, I took that adapter, plugged it into my the bottom of my uh, port on my iPhone. In my case, it's an iPhone 11. I opened up my camera, selected video, and hit record. And that's what you're seeing and hearing right now. So, with the condenser mic, for those of you who are familiar with mics, you know this for those of you that aren't a condenser mic is a mic that you don't generally get right up into okay now 
in order for me to hear myself, I want to monitor myself, okay? So before I adjust where, what I sound like and what I want to sound like and how you hear me, um, I need to be able to monitor myself. So the best way is headphones or earbuds directly wired right out of your mixer. So in my case, I use uh, these in-ear buds that are wired. They're by Seinhauser. Um, and uh, I find that they give me a really nice, accurate sort of sound of what, you know, is coming out of my mixer and where my mic levels are and things like that. So I'm just going to pop these in my ear so that I can hear myself the way I want you to hear me, okay? So, already I can tell that I'm probably at a pretty good distance for what I want to do with the video. Now that may change accordingly, right? So I like what I'm hearing. It's not overwhelming. It's a good volume. Uh, I'm going to pick up my guitar. Right? So this would be, to me, kind of sounds like Kind of sounds like I'm playing in my kitchen, so I'm kind of happy with with the mix that's coming through my ears. Now, if I want to adjust that accordingly, I have a couple of options. I could, on the condenser mic, I could move up if I want to get louder, but be warned that you're also now open. You know, you've got more gain coming in, so now you're opening yourself up to maybe some distortion if it's too much, or if you hit that real heavy part or whatever, if you're talking and you get really passionate, okay? Or conversely, I could back away, okay? So ideally, you wanna find a mix. And for me, for both guitar, acoustic guitar, without playing with a pick and not bashing and thrashing, if I'm just gonna play, If I'm just going to play at that kind of level, I find about close to two feet away, all right, is, is fine. And if you like what you're hearing here, I'm about two feet away from my microphone. So I'm going to show you now by just moving here. It's hard to tell depth on video, I know, but I'm about two feet away. Okay, now if I wanted to get a little more of the acoustic guitar in, I could move this down so that it's closer maybe to the sound hole than it is my voice. Um, so you could do a little things like that, all right? So as you've heard me now and on the intro, this is the way I'm set up. So let's go through it again. My guitar is not plugged in, so that's easy, right? And we want to make a little video of a song we just learned and we want to put it on Instagram or TikTok or Facebook or whatever, okay? So I've got my iPhone ready to go. I've got my condenser mic, XLR cable into the appropriate channel on my mixer. I've got my settings done for, you know, uh, my highs, my mids, all that kind of stuff. I've set up a little bit of reverb on here. And then I've engaged my USB out on my mixer, which then allows the mix to go through my USB 2.0 cable into my little camera adapter kit that I bought from Apple. My uh, Where I live, it was about, I'm gonna say $30. Uh, that goes into the bottom of my phone. And now you just use your phone camera as you normally would. And this is your results, and it's not bad. Like, you can make really good videos this way. So what I'll do in my next video, I will do the same thing, but I will use a traditional mic, a Shure FM or a SM58 or a, maybe a Sennheiser, uh, something more that you would use on stage, and we'll concentrate on making a more of a music video. I'll also plug in my guitar 
and we'll see how that changes things. All right, so for now, just to get you started in a simple way, I wanna emphasize that the microphone has no bearing on things. You can use any type of condenser mic to do it this way, all right? Like anything in life, the better the equipment, the better the ingredients you put in the, the recipe, the better the, the finished dish will, will taste, the better the equipment that you use along the lines of your recording, obviously the better the results. But in this case, um, you could even get by with a decent USB microphone, okay? That's a whole different sort of setup, okay? In fact, you probably would bypass the mixer, go directly into your laptop, uh, but we'll cover that down the road. But again, you don't have to run out and buy the same condenser mic as I'm using. Any one will do, okay? Um, we have an XLR cable, we have a mixer, we have lighting, which has nothing to do with the sound, and we have our little gizmo, our little Apple gizmo called the camera connection kit that takes the signal from the mixer and puts it into our iPhone so that we can sound as good as we look. All right, so I hope this has helped you. Uh, it's not an overwhelming thing. It looks a lot harder than it did or does. Um, when I started watching musicians, I mentioned through at COVID, I thought, my God, some of these, like they really sound good. And it took me a long time to figure it out. Uh, and I'm still learning and, and trying different things, which I will gladly pass on to you. So for now, we've used a condenser mic. We've got it sounding pretty good. Next video, we'll switch the mics out and we'll plug in the guitar and see how that changes things. All right? Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you down the road.